I have here the Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2009. A MacBook with the following specifications 2.26 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 8 GB of DDR3 memory, 1 TB of HDD storage, NVIDIA GeForce 9400 256MB graphics, and running Mac OS X Yosemite 10.10.5. I intend to discover if this MacBook Pro can still be put to some productive purpose 15 years after it was first introduced to the public. Since the currently installed Mac OS is considered outdated and no longer supported by Apple, I will be updating the operating system to one which is both up to date and suitable for this device. To achieve this, I will be testing out four different operating systems Mac OS Sequoia 15.1, Pop OS 22.04. Mac OS Ventura 13.7.1 and Linux Mint 22, two Mac operating systems and two Linux distros. If you are interested in the details of how I carried out the installation of each operating system, please subscribe to the channel so you get to know when this video drops. Here, I will be focusing on how each of these four operating systems performed when I tested them out in the following categories. Boot and startup time. System stroke app response time. Utility app support. And security and updates. Looking at boot times, Mac OS Sequoia took the longest time to boot up to a usable state with a boot time of about 200 seconds. Pop OS is the second slowest with a boot up time of about 140 seconds. Mac OS Ventura boots up to a usable state in about 100 seconds, while Linux Mint has the fastest boot up time on this MacBook Pro with a boot up time of about 90 seconds. Next, I considered how responsive apps were when running them on each of the operating systems. Opening apps on Mac OS Sequoia took an average of 11 to 13 seconds to load, and once an app loaded, it seemed to operate in a pretty stable manner but there was still noticeable lag in performance as sometimes it took a while for clicks to register and produce a desired outcome. Apps running on Pop OS took an average of 7 to 8 seconds to load on this MacBook Pro, and apps became more responsive once they had fully loaded. However, I noticed that on several occasions, Apps suddenly froze and terminated operations in the course of performing tasks on them. Apps on Mac OS Ventura took an average of 3 to 5 seconds to load and thereafter ran smoothly without any unexpected errors popping up. The operation of apps was smooth and quite unlike what you would expect from a 15 year old device. Apps on Linux Mint took an average of 5 to 7 seconds to load on this MacBook Pro and operated quite seamlessly without any glitches or errors once they loaded. The response time when performing tasks within apps was quick and truly impressive. Really not what you would expect from a 15 plus year old device. Next I consider the app support of each of the operating systems. Mac OS Sequoia and Mac OS Ventura have a similar app support with access to several apps that are present in the Apple App Store, as well as several third-party apps that can be downloaded online and installed to the operating system. However, I cannot overlook the obvious fact that some apps on the Apple App Store have specific hardware requirements which this 15 plus year old MacBook Pro fails to meet. 
Hence, most video editing and graphic apps did not work as expected on this device. Another drawback in this department is the fact that since this device is running macOS with the help of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, which is an app that is not directly supported by Apple, most apps that require an Apple ID to function may not function as expected when running the latest macOS on this device. Pop OS has a robust app repository with several apps in various areas of interest, ranging from phone and games to internet, to graphics, to media production, to office, etc. When the apps are functioning, they function pretty well. However, as mentioned earlier, there were several instances where the apps just would not function or would crash suddenly mid-operation. Although Pop OS looks really beautiful on this device, I guess it is not well suited to run apps seamlessly on this 15 plus year old device. Linux Mint also has a software manager with a large app repository spanning various categories and apps are easily accessible using a search function. The apps which I tested on Linux Mint function very well without any issues encountered. I was even able to attempt video editing on this device using Linux Mint and it seemed to go just fine. The only drawback for me when using Linux Mint on this device was not being very conversant with how some of the apps worked. This is something that I believe can be overcome with a more frequent use of the operating system. As for security and updates, all four operating systems have provisions for getting the latest security patches and updates installed in a timely manner. Because macOS Sequoia and macOS Ventura run with the help of OpenCore Legacy Parcher, there is the option to download and install the latest security updates, and if in the future the need arises to upgrade to a more current macOS, this can be done as well. Pop OS and Linux Mint have update managers that regularly check for software updates and security patches and provide the user the opportunity to have them installed whenever they become available. After performing all the tests, I have decided that Linux Mint and macOS Ventura are the two most suitable operating systems for this 15 plus year old MacBook Pro at this very time. I went ahead to install both operating systems on this 15 plus year old Mac device. Why stick to one operating system if you can have them both on this beautiful MacBook Pro? If you're interested in how I got this dual boot up setup, kindly subscribe to the channel so you get to know when this video drops. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.